It's Monday morning, it's day 841, so those that don't know, I do a video every single day. We got this rake yesterday. It's got these little sticks on to mark how wide it is. But look how clever this is. When it falls out, it catches these, but look, it's got that gas strut mechanism. And it resets. It's clever that, isn't it? Well thought out. Anyway, pretty pleased with it. Won't be using it much now till next year or unless we do a second cut. Because hopefully all we've got to do now is row it up today to bail it. But yeah, it's uh, pretty much half price. It's a good rake. The folding mechanism's ingenious. It's got two rams there. We then pull all these rods and make it all fold up. And that's the manual latch. There's a tiny bit of barley left in this trailer because where they were tipping it, the roof was quite low in the other shed. So I'm just going to tip it out into the dryer. I bet it's only about 10 or 15 kilos, but don't want it getting wet. There we go, it's out now. Shut the door. Drop the trailer back down. Just taping up where the mice have chewed that on the grain tank of the combine. And Andrew's found one over there as well. Can't really spill out that because of the height of it, but so annoying. I wonder how much one of these is. Should have found white duct tape. Good as new now. Should get these made by uh, the Bouncy Castle guy, but in like luminous green. They look cool. Just got Malpas getting some new tines for the tether. Plenty of coon equipment in. Let's look at this tether here. This is a six rotor one. Obviously, it's all packaged up in a crate. Just got like four rams to fold it up. It does fold up pretty neat though. Power arrow there, it's a new packer roll ready to go on. The time drill that. Yeah. Should be six meters there. It's quite smart. Yeah, one of these arms is missing as well, so I've got that. I'm just going to knock this broken roll pin out, tap that on, put that in there. And then we need some tines to go on that one. And then hopefully it should be better. Case has had some new fuel filters this morning, which is handy because they came with it. Just putting this on now, we've got it all shined up ready, but that goes in and out, which it shouldn't. So hopefully we can take this lump out and see what's going on. Can't really find anything wrong in there, so we're just gonna fasten it back up again. I think that stops it moving backwards and forwards when that's bolted on. An oil leak on this just to wash it. Give it Rob. Rob's changed it on that pressure sensor. The saving's coming out all the way to look at it. We've done it. Andrew's just moving, been moving a bit of muck from the riding stables because the midden was full. So he's, he's carted that with the silage trailer because we're not using it for grain at the moment. And it's only light and fluffy straw basically because they, you know what they're like, horse people, they just like muck out every single day. Anyway, this is all fixed and ready now. It's got the new arm on, some new tines on it. So it's good to go and turn some straw, roll a little bit of hay up, and then Bennett's coming with the big rower up and we're doing the big block as well this afternoon, or we're gonna try and do as much as we can. But the weather's good tomorrow, so we're not gonna break our neck doing it. In cab with the fen, just bringing some trailers up now. Ian's here bailing with their baler because the smaller bales, easy for horse people to handle. I'm not trusting the rake anymore, so David is using their rake. He's going, we've got the beacon on, raking up. I've even got the spare arm on the front of this tractor. From when I bent it. Flies that rake. Ian's bailed all this bit now. I'm just on my way back with the second load now. Strapped on, luckily. David's rode all this field up with their eight. Our Andrew's over there loading up with the Merlot. And our eight was at Rain Hill turning rows of straw and then it was going to row some grass up for the sheep up there and it's just made a funny noise despite me spending some money on it this morning and now it's not working so I'm going to ring Joe up see where he is with his rake. It's quite a dull day now but it's still so hot. Anyway, baler's nearly done on this field. I'm going back with another load. My dad's just been to a funeral and um, it's obviously Monday afternoon and then I'm carting hay to this yard here and Graham pulls in on his tractor and I said I thought you'd be at Ted's funeral because obviously he knew him a lot better and lived next door to him. He went no no it's tomorrow. So 
around my dad up and said, um, so you were that funeral? Because everyone's saying it's tomorrow. He's like, yeah, I just got, I just got to the crematorium and it's, uh, he's not on the list. So he's gone on the wrong day. But uh, two people did tell him it was today. So he'd not just, he didn't just get it up wrong off one person. Well, I thought it was funny anyway, it tickled me. Back at HQ, got Chester with me today. I'm gonna do a quick tractor swap because they come to put a new solenoid on this, so I'm gonna jump on the fast track. So they're cracking on in that field. Rob's just brought Andrew his drink because he left it in the yard. He's on our baler. Me and David are just gonna clear this field out now, and then there's nothing left in this one. Although the Kubota is orange, it's hard to see through the windows of the fast track. It kind of doesn't look as good as Andrew's Valtra, which is also orange. Yeah, I'll hitch up to this one now, take this one back. I can't remember how many loads we took of this field, but quite a few. I feel like it's going dark, but it's nice, it's just not as bright as it was before. They're in the second field now, Baylor's still bailing away, and the rower up back is in another field, but I can't see it because he's behind the trees. Stack of bales here, we've got two of us carting now. David is loading me up, let's time him. It's uh, 15.24, let's see how long it takes him. There we go, it's now 37 minutes past. It's actually six, not five. I've lost a bit, so what's that taken? What, 13 minutes, 12 minutes? And we're just strapping the last one on now. Don't want him falling off like Joe does. Me and Chester are still at it now, it's nearly seven o'clock. Just been talking to Joe Seals. You need to watch his video today because he has had the day. I mean, you know, they say things come in threes. Well, he's had one of them days. So it's definitely worth watching. I don't know whether it's up yet, but try and find his channel and watch out for it later. Joe Seals, spelled S-E-E-L. But yeah, don't forget, this will next weekend. It is Great Eccleston Show and there's tractor pulling on the Saturday night and well, all both, both days of the weekend. I'll be there, so will Joe Seals. So check it out on the website, Google it, Great Eccleston Show. We're back again for another load. I know he won't load this one as quick because he's not got the bales ready. So I will probably edit the video while he loads it. I definitely think this is the best place for Chester today in the cab with air conditioning because it is not nice weather for pets. Um, he enjoyed it on the combine yesterday again because it was nice and cool, especially in the heat of the day. We can't go too high with the hay because we have to go through a low railway bridge going into the yard. So um, we can't fit another layer on. So we're only going three high. But it's not too bad, put them like that, they bind themselves together and we just throw some straps over. The mighty Kubota. It used to be his favourite tractor, so they got that little job here. I'm not a fan of these bales personally, because they, they're quite narrow. They can roll over really easily, you do have to really strap them. And then when you stack them in the shed, you have to make sure that they're nice and tight and square, otherwise they can just roll. It's great when the weather plays ball, so we've not finished bailing, but because the weather's so good all week or for the next two weeks, which isn't good for the beans, it isn't good for the wheat, it means that we can knock off, so it's like half seven now. We can just take this back and then resume tomorrow. Danny's out combining there. It's, uh, the dog's just licking my face as I'm trying to film. That barley is looking mega all year. But pigeons are having a little bit of a go bit there by the telegraph poles. Hopefully it does all right for him. Shed painting continues. Richard and other Richard have been on it today. One good thing about the heat is the paint's drying really quickly. Dump trailer is on the 7710. It's been moving a bit of soil before from one end of the field to another, filling the hole in, because it's a big hollow that floods. A big pile of soil been in it for about two years, so we've moved it from one side to the other. Now it's painted, there seems to be a lot more steel somehow. Smells nice as well. Is that the colour? Just putting these in the weighbridge, the packaging bags for sending out hoodies and t-shirts and stuff. And they arrived last week and they've been kicking around the house and they keep forgetting to take them down to the weighbridge because that is where the stock is where Ian posts out every single day. There doesn't look too much wrong with it, but I think something's gone wrong in there. These are all individual sections, so you can take them out and change them, but it's a winter job. This is today's birthday bumper. So Steve Gooch, Harry Gaydon, Chris Gibson, 79. Is that the oldest person we've ever had on it? I think it could be. Is is he the oldest watcher? Leroy Vlaming, Vlaming. I'm not sure. It's it's someone from a different country because it was paid in euros. Tommy Mason is four. Daniel Langley, Paul Critchlow, Olivia Higgins. And we're out up to £5,600 exactly. And apparently 
Daniel was filing for divorce if his name wasn't on the birthday bumper. So happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is today. No combining today, but a productive day. Nonetheless, we got some barley straw finished off baling. The lads were doing that while I was carting hay. Got a lot of hay baled. The tether was thought we'd spent some time and money on it. That is now broken. So I am now looking for, sorry, not the tether, rower upper. So I'm now looking for a new rower upper because I'm sick of things breaking down because all it does is cost time, money and wages and lots of faff and spoils the day when you've got everyone set up to do a job and then that goes wrong. So uh, we might have found one anyway, a solution. What have you been up to today? Let me know. Have you been farming? Have you been doing your normal desk job? Have you had air conditioning? Let me know in the comments. It's always interesting to see what everyone's been up to, especially when it's hot and you can't sleep at night. I can read all the comments. So anyway, this is the end now. See you tomorrow.